A bizarre video posted to TikTok shows a woman eating her dinner and removing her face mask in between bites of food. No, 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 that's on. She's outside, she's almost certainly been vaccinated, and yet she's so terrified the mask goes back on after each mouthful goes in. Ugh, imagine the state of the inside of that mask. I'm surprised she didn't put hand sanitizer on her food. Best part is she's looking around for approval after putting it back on and no one gives a shit. Where else does she wear it? In the shower? In bed? Some people wear them during sex and while swimming underwater. Some pregnant women in the UK were forced to wear them during childbirth. So at this point, nothing surprises me. Apparently the virus gives special dispensation for people eating their dinner and has promised to stay away for the three seconds it takes for them to shovel the food into their mouth. And then it's back on again. Now it's unclear where this is. Some people are saying it's the Netherlands, others are saying it's California. California would make more sense because firstly, it's California. And secondly, because the office of the governor of California, Gavin Newsom, put out a tweet which actually told people, quote, don't forget to keep your mask on in between bites. Yeah, really. Of course, Governor Gavin Newsom didn't really follow his own advice when he was subsequently caught violating the very COVID rules he imposed on everyone else by attending a party at a posh French restaurant indoors with no social distancing and no masks. It's okay when we do it, despite the CDC dropping mask mandates for the vaccinated. Earlier this week, Los Angeles County Public Health Authorities reimposed them. The WHO also says that even vaccinated people should continue to, quote, play it safe by continuing to mask up. Meanwhile, in the UK, despite mask mandates costing some businesses in the hospitality industry 40% of their normal turnover, some sage government advisors, including former Communist Party member Susan Mitchie, are calling for them to continue forever. And with people like this in the world, don't be surprised to see many of them refusing to leave the house without masking up for years and years to come. <laughs>